guys. Well, I decided to try something a little different this time. Uh, but once a month, I get a box of goodies in. Um, and I do lots of product reviews and such on the YouTube channel here. And I decided to try to do it a little bit differently this time. Rather than go through and do individual product reviews, I'll do them all in one big review where you guys can uh, see all the links in the description for each one of these parts I'm about to show you. Um, if you want to see more about it, you can click on it and go to the site. Also, some of the bigger products and such, uh, there will be a second video, uh, which I'll talk about in a bit, as there will be one of those in this box alone. So, what do we got? Well, this was from HobbyKing.com, uh, but once a month or so, like I said, I get an order from them. And uh, they got tons of good stuff there, man. You just can't beat their prices. You know, they're kind of, a lot of people complain and how oh, they're undermining the RC industry, but the industry's changing everywhere. Not just hobby, but shopping in general is all done online now. Even the, the big uh, box stores and such have had to figure that out and, and globalize, right? So, it's like anything, you have to adapt to survive. So, uh, first thing we'll start with is this. I've already assembled it. This came in the box already, and this is a tool stand, Turnigy tool stand. That's magnetic. I assembled it and all that already. It doesn't come assembled. It comes flat in a box, actually. It comes packed in a nice little box, about that thick, little square box. Um, but it's very nice, all metal. Uh, it's plexiglass, it's not glass anywhere. It's all protected with uh, masking film, so you have to peel it off everywhere. But it's pretty slick. It comes with all the magnets. They actually give you two extra magnets. And uh, it works pretty good, as you can see. You need kind of a long handle screwdriver. Anything, uh, when you get into the shorter ones like this, it tends to want to come forward a little bit on you, but it still stays there, so it's not too bad. For the price tag of this thing, you really cannot go wrong. I thought it was quite a bargain uh, at the price that they're asking. So, moving on from that is this guy here. This is a steering wheel, actually. This is from, or this is for a Fly Sky FS GT2B, or it will work with the GT3C. And the D1 uh, with all the programmable stuff. It works for basically the most of the FlySky uh, controllers. It's all aluminum, so the whole thing is metal. Even that little disc brake thing in the middle is a piece of alloy. And it comes with all the hardware and everything to mount it up. So I will actually uh, do another product review on this guy here where you can see the installation of it, a little how-to video, which will also be on the Hobby King website. Check the videos tab. Next, uh, we'll come to that in a minute here, okay, so I picked up four shocks, I've actually already reviewed these, and I've opened the packaging already, and taken the springs off and stuff, actually I'm about to start rebuilding them, uh, with the internals out of these old Traxxas, uh, Traxxas shocks I have, the Ultras, they have the Tainai shafts, titanium nitride, really tough shafts, and things. So I'm going to swap them over into these guys as well as these ones here I picked up two different lengths if you notice one's 100 mil and these ones here are 85 mil so they are a bit shorter these are actually going to go on the front of or on my grave digger two-wheel drive stampede so these are super cheap now, I will put them in the link if you're interested they're 450 a pair so you can get all like a whole truck outfitted for 10 bucks but keep in mind they're not really worth a spit until you replace all the internals which will cost you about another 10 bucks so when you all said and done you get about 20 bucks into it and you got a wicked set of shocks pretty decent anyway and uh, also I've noticed these shock caps which are common in other trucks as well if you look at uh, here my this is the uh, Ofna Hyper 10 SE Hogao the caps on these are the same and I've never had any problems with those um, but also you can I'm fairly certain these caps will work for these. I got a set coming, so I will comment on that later. But moving along, what is this? This is actually a little Leatherman tool. Um, always super handy, race days, stuff like that. I'd love to have one of these. Uh, this guy here is all stainless steel. 
I don't even know how much it was, but it was cheap. Check the description. Five bucks, seven bucks, something like that. It wasn't a lot. Let me open it up and show you. It's really actually not a bad uh, design. It opens all up. It's got a spring in the back, actually. So it allows it to spring back in your hand. It's quite nice. And it's got a saw, but it's not very sharp at all. I wouldn't really saw anything with it. All the screwdrivers you need, also a knife, a can opener, lots of little tools, right? But for the price tag, it was a pretty good little steel. And he built carrying case as well. So there's that. On to the next. This is actually a multi-tool I picked up. I'm a big fan of Turnigy tools. Uh, as you can see, I got a bunch here, and they have all served me super well. This one here on the top, I'll post a link to it in the description as well. It is also a multi, so the the, uh, the back pops off there, and you got all your bits in the handle. The bits for this one are different though. So these guys here are totally different. They're kind of like a red steel. They, I don't know, it's a weird color on these guys. But they're hard, they work great. I use them in my drill often, in my half inch chuck drill, and they're awesome for that. Simply, the fact you can grab them. Like these guys here, you can't really take these out. You could put them in your drill, but they're not gonna work very well if they don't uh, have anything really for the bit, or for the uh, chuck to grab onto. They're too thin. So, I decided to grab another one. Turnage stuff's never let me down. This one looked really nice and handy for just in the design, and I wasn't I wasn't let down by it. The way it comes apart, the top screws off, and then you have access to the bits. The bits are very similar um, to the other ones I showed you, except they're even beefier steel. Um, the steel in hand feels very high quality, but only time will really tell. These lock into the handle, like so. And then you just drop the lid back on. You can try and do this here with one hand. There it goes. Put it back on, and you're good to go. And it's a very nice fit. Fits very well. It's not loose. So it's all the common sizes you need from 1.5 mil up to 3 mil. And this is like I think five bucks. Like what? Right? And this steel, they're good steel, you'll be surprised. Like this will rival any $30, $40 team associated tool. You know, guaranteed the steel is gonna be right up there with it. Okay, on to the next. Uh, just a, a regular battery connector, I already took it out of the bag. Um, actually what I needed was a regular uh, XT sit or just a regular Dean's plug on it, but they didn't have any in stock, so I grabbed one. I'm thinking, oh, you know what? I need an XT60 plug probably for something anyway. Same price or two bucks. Pick this. I went and grabbed one of these at my hobby store, and they want they charge me like ten bucks for one of these things. And really, all I need is these silly balance things, and you can't find them anywhere. They're hard to. You can find them, but they're just a pain in the butt. So for two bucks, you get it all. It's kind of worth it. Okay, next, this is a 6mm wire mesh, it's like a protector, you basically put it over top of wiring to protect it, it's made from nylon, um, it will protect anything that's around basically, this works anything from 12 to possibly 8 gauge, uh, but 12 and 10 gauge for sure. Um, yeah, you've probably seen this on lots of other trucks. If you see all their wires are one color black wrap, look all professional, that's how they do it. It's with this stuff. So check the links, there's different sizes of it. I've, I've tried a 3 mil and it was too small to even fit on 13 gauge wire. You had to stretch it right out. Uh, so 5 mil would be perfect for about a 12 gauge, but they don't have that. So 6 mil is the closest you're going to get. It expands to four times its regular size, so it does expand quite a bit. But when you do expand it, then you can see through it and it doesn't really do its job as well when it's not really protecting the wire right so keep that in mind on to the next this is a paraboard and this is to go with what's uh the main unit of this whole charge or this uh, the main purchase of this whole buy here was a charger 
but uh, this is just regular wiring, silicone wiring. You can pick this up from Hobby King for so cheap compared to what they charge you in the store here. I picked up four meters, two meters of twelve, two meters of ten, and I think it was like four dollars each, five dollars each. So maybe ten bucks for all this wire, and that's a lot. Like that's, I won't run out for a long time. Uh, they didn't have any black, of course, but this is the kind of insulation where you could actually take a sharpie and run it over it, and it would like, soak it up and make it black without leaking all over your hands and stuff like that. So, anyway, I'm gonna put the black on it anyway, you're never gonna know. Good, but you can always buy wiring from them, super cheap. Even uh, the servo wiring and stuff I've bought in the past, awesome deal, and it's very high quality wire. Okay, and the big one here, the one we all wanna see, this is the Turnigy Reactor. I'll we'll be doing a second video, and probably a third one on this as well. Uh, this is just a quick talk about this one, and then I'm gonna do a proper um, unboxing and all that. So this here is just a regular charger. I'm just going to show you it as it is in the box here. But it's a small charger, as you can see. Now to put that in perspective for you, okay, here's a can of Monster. This thing puts out 300 watts, 20 amps, and it can discharge at 20 amps. This here is, as far as I know right now, a copy of an iCharger 206B. It comes with the temperature sensors and stuff that you can mount to, oops, sorry, to the battery uh, to monitor the charging so you don't overheat or wreck anything. It will automatically shut down and it does, look at that nice color too, it does have a USB port which you can hook up to your computer um, and then I'm fairly certain you can download the iCharger software suite and use that uh, to run through all the battery stuff, diagnostics, it keeps the charge log um, of all the batteries charged, it does a whole bunch of different things. It's a pretty cool little charger for the price point. $59.99 is what you can pick this up for, uh, for Platinum members, or um, if you just, you know, sit around there for a little while, you know those pop-ups, they'll give you a better deal on them too. So yeah, 60 bucks for this kind of charger, what? So I'll be, I'm, I got a project coming up here in the future with this guy and I'm building a charge box which will be out of a little toolbox which will have a power supply 400 watt adjustable 0 to 24 volt power supply powering this as well as uh, just a regular little power board in there to plug in the AC things and stuff so when I go to the races I can plug in this one thing that plugs in my toolbox and then I got this 400 watt of charging power boom as well as uh, an AC plug for you know whatever else I want to run a Dremel or anything else yada yada so I'm going to show you how to do that um, the power supply itself cost me I think $35 so all said and done you know you're still under $100 for a 300 watt charger that can charge continuous at 20 amps and discharge at 20 amps there was something I read somewhere in the fine print too that it can even discharge faster if you add um, some resistance in line as well like when you're discharging it you hook to a battery if you hook up resistance in line there like some people run resistors and stuff they'll in between the positive lines so they can discharge at upwards of 500 watts which is a lot of power you know you can dump your six cell in a matter of minutes so that's what I want I want to be able to take I only really run two and three cell batteries but I want to be able to charge them up in 15 minutes 10 minutes you know even if they're sitting at storage voltage already, I should be able to charge in about 10 minutes. And then I can discharge them in about the same, which is awesome. I don't want to sit and wait two hours. I have another charger right now. So this guy here, and if, believe it or not, that guy is exactly the same size as this new charger. Crazy, right? So check out the second review on this guy. I will do a proper unboxing, show you everything it comes with. And then there will also be part two to that which will show you all the software stuff and the uh, programming options that are available if they work I'm not fully sure that they do there's really not much information on that yet so stay tuned for that and this thing here goes with it this is a pair of words essentially you hook this up and this will allow me to plug in as many batteries as I want as long as they're the same cell voltage and capacity so if I have 10 two cell 2100s or whatever I can plug well, six of them into here 
and then run 20 amps and it will basically split that over the six packs. This little thing will run actually 30 amps through this board, so that's pretty good. I made sure to double check that. And they're cheap. You get them from Hobby King, they're like 10 bucks. I think it was 860 or something for this thing. Whereas you try and pick that up here and they're just ridiculous. So, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. If you did, hit that thumbs up button for me. If you'd like to see anything else or you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. And I would be happy to help you out. And stay tuned for lots more videos. Like I said, once a month or so, I'll be doing these, uh, these big unpackings. And then look for the specific reviews if you're interested. Okay, guys. Talk to you soon.